Welcome back guys, this is Henry1502 Inc. I'm back and we are diving into Code Academy Section 3, picking up from where we last left off. So here we go and this should have... If everything goes well, it should pull it up. Uh, here, yeah, it did pull it up, so let's do this. I've been, I've been on the Chinese side of things, so I've been on the Chinese version of Twitter and YouTube. The Twitter part looks pretty cool. The YouTube part, I'm less impressed. It, it's not. It's 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 garbage. But anyways, that's not what I'm here for. I'm here to make this tutorial, so let's go. For those of you who haven't helped, 432 different questions. A lot of you guys don't even take the time to read through what other people posted. And you guys probably should, but that's all you. So this one, we're printing two different log statements at the same time. So console.log2 times not I think they want us to print two times five I'm not really sure and console dot log hello and don't forget the um semicolons I think that's what they're called so when we press run this is what pops up we get the check mark Basically what log, the difference between log and document that write is uh, the document um, basically is printing something on your page and the log is like assuming that you're using a console. It, it's confusing but I just don't know how to do it so I'm not even going to like talk any, talk into that in great depths. So here we go uh, I'm sick so that's my, that's why my voice might be a little bit off um, Alright, so this is basically what we've done here. Um, they're asking us to put greater than equal to whatever to make sure that this state that the top four statements are true. Fifteen is obviously greater than four, so that's what happens over here. You could put greater or equal to, but we all know that fifteen is not equal to four, so don't worry about that. Now this is a string and even though let's count it one two three four five six seven eight eight characters eight characters is not more than um, 102 the number the number 102 tw 122 I can't talk so that's why this is um, this string is less than a 122 this string on the other hand is much longer and it's greater than eight and for the for the bottom part this line eight line eight is equal to they're both equal to each other because eight times two is 16 and 16 is equal to 16 so that's why this is equal to um 16 and for the for the last two we basically has to come up with our own variables and our own statements so I said 10 is greater than 11 now the one thing I forgot to say is we had to come up with our own statements that were false so 10 is not greater than 11 so this is false 8 is not greater than 9 so this is false 
run the program we get a check mark that's how you know that I'm telling you the truth continuing on to decisions 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 these basically deal with if statements and if statements basically are um the brain are hypotheticals let's put it like that if what happens if this happens if that happens do such and such if that doesn't happen do this if one of these happens do this but don't do this if the other option doesn't work out there are many different types there are many many different types um, of answers that you could get from if statements um, answers results whatever you want to call them so or like what edit edit your program so it can print out true two is not greater than a hundred so just basically do this run the program we get a check mark um okay so let me dive right into the last one so it basically says if 100 is greater than 2 then it's going to um this will be on the on the console the console will log in you are good at math if this is not greater than 2 then the console will say just letting you know your program got to line 6 before um yeah whatever so um we're on number 4 number 4 Number four has us um, filling in our old statements, but the one catch is that this program has to be false. So here we go. Um, so let's say if ten is greater than let's say nineteen. Um, Um, uh, console dot log. Are you stupid? Let's run the code and we get the check mark. So because ten is not greater than nineteen, it doesn't print alert. It just skips this line and goes on to console.log are you stupid because this statement is not true we're moving on to number five and here we go number five we have to write our own if statement and this is really easy just watch and learn guys so um So what we're basically telling this program to do is if 9 is greater than 8, which it is, then it's going to log I am right. If it's not for any reason, it's going to log I am wrong. If you guys have any remote intelligence in you, you should know that you should be right. And let me evaluate the code of your condition. Evaluate it must be false so I guess they don't they don't want this condition to be true so let me just they didn't want the condition to be true so I just changed up the numbers um, computers aren't that smart so what you have to do in this one is debug what's going on and uh, I know from reading a lot of the questions and answers forums that this is probably one of the most common mistakes that a lot of people make. 
three equal signs, you pretty much only need that many or that many. In this case, we need two because we're saying if 10 is equal to, not if ten, the 10 is, 10 is 10, 10 is equal to, it's completely different. Um, if you guys don't know, check it out. And don't forget semicolons because that's where a lot of people go wrong, actually. Um, this is really annoying. Um, I just realized what part of the problem was. You have to, um, you can't leave your numbers in the braces. You have to switch these up. So let me just show you guys what I mean by this. Oh, this is annoying. Oh, this is really annoying. I butchered this really bad. Okay. Looks like I'm getting there. And this is how you debug a program. Check it out. Take a long look at all of this. Because I guarantee you that's probably where most of you guys are going wrong for the next um, for the next part of the lesson when it comes to building your own program. This is where a lot of mistakes are made. Press run. We get the green check mark. We're all done with this category. We get the badge. And I'm just going to go ahead and say, add like, comment below if you thought this was helpful. Anything I could talk about some more, any video requests. This is Henry1502 Inc. I'm out.